Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things, and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today, or Madame Nazar's location. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you where you can find Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar's location is actually in Big Valley, and your uh, fast travel destination of choice will actually be down in Strawberry. So you'll just have to head a little bit north to this exact location right here. But if this is the only thing that you guys come here for each and every single day, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to leave a like. That would be the biggest thing that you guys could do because number one, it tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. Number two, it really shows your support. And number three, if it helped you out, it could help out somebody else because that's how YouTube promotes these videos is by showing your likes on these videos and it could be pushed out to somebody else that is looking for the exact same thing that you guys once were. All right, so Little Creek River is where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, and that's going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, just keep in mind that each and every single day, these do change at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys are looking at this video after that time frame, then there's a good chance, there, no, it's 100% chance that it will have changed already after 8 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you guys are watching that, you're going to have to wait until the update comes out when Madame Nazar changes, and same thing with the daily challenges, because that's when I do the update videos. So let's go to move on to the next thing, and that is doing the collections for these said uh, collection sets and the cycles. Now, I like to go after the coins and the lost jewelry, just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. $540 per hour. It takes about three to three and a half hours. However, it does require the field shovel and the metal detector in order to complete these. Coins are going to be a part of cycle number two. Lost jewelry will also be a part of cycle number two for today. Now, the next two sets I'm going to go over also require the field shovel or the and or the metal detector. We got uh, arrowheads at cycle number six, and then we have family heirlooms at cycle number two as well. The next four sets I'm actually about to go over don't even have to be a collector at all. You're just not going to be able to sell anything. So if you guys aren't even a collector or a low rank collector or maybe just want to make some extra cash or don't even have the field shovel or metal detector, whatever that combination might be, these next four sets are going to be for you guys. So we got American Wildflowers at cycle number one. We have the tarot cards at cycle number three. The antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five. And the bird eggs also at cycle number five as well. All right, so let's go ahead and move on from there. I, before we actually talk about the daily challenges, I do want to just briefly talk about my live streaming. Uh, I do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Today, technically being a Wednesday, I will be live streaming today. If you guys are looking at the times, I do change them from time to time. And those are going to always be listed on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. Just in case, for whatever reason, you guys aren't getting notified when I do go live, you guys can actually pre-ump and know what time I'm actually going to go live before I actually even do go live. So there's always that. I always update it about the day before. So if it's a Monday, then I'm always going to update it on Sunday. If it's on um, a Wednesday, I always update it on Tuesday. Same thing with Friday. Always the day before. So you guys are always going to guarantee that whenever you check on the day of, you'll have no problem with getting it. And it's always the afternoon for me. So you're always looking at one o'clock or later for the most part. All right. So I also have memberships here on the channel. So if you guys are looking to further support me as a content creator, which would be very much appreciated, uh, do definitely do that. You guys have perks and benefits from doing that. I do have private servers for other games. So if you guys want to join in and play with me one-on-one, -on -one, definitely look into the memberships as that will definitely give you an opportunity to do so um, if you guys are looking to do that. And it, honestly, it supports me so that I can continue making these types of videos for you guys in the near future. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the daily challenges. We're going to quickly go over the list. We got three cooked season flaky fish. We have two gang hideouts cleared. We have two or five non-player enemies killed while in cover. 20 non-player enemies looted. Five perch caught. Five vanilla flowers picked. One visited Bulger Glade. Uh, we have one completed special moonshine recipe. Two moonshine bar dance for two minutes. 
One moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact. Three camp stews eaten. 20 donations to Crips. Two resupply missions completed. Three coins found. Three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar. Three collector maps used. One bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. Three, or three eagle eye to use to track a bounty target. And then last but not least, a hard or legendary bounty mission completed. All right. Let's go ahead and break these down. Before we actually do that, 11 gold bars of gold, you know, 11 gold bars is what you guys can earn every single day just from completing the daily challenges. Showdowns, horse racing, um, free roam events, some of the missions, and even doing the bounty hunter role will actually give you additional gold every single day as of right now. Could change going forward, but that's additional gold on top of the 11 gold bars. Now there's two requirements. Number one, completing a daily challenge streak of at least 21 days in a row with only completing at least one daily challenge just one it takes usually there's one that takes less than like two minutes to complete and then the next one is to make sure that you guys have all the current roles purchased there's four of them and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles because that will actually give you access to all 19 daily challenges seven daily general challenges and 12 daily role challenges all right break these down in detail so cooked season flaky fish this is kind of two parts uh the first one is getting flaky fish and you get that from either getting like the pickerel, so chain, um, redfin, you can go after rock bass, um, perch would actually count. And you don't want to get bluegills because that's going to be gritty fish. Uh, so you want flaky fish. And you can also get this from like smallmouth bass as well. But I would recommend the smaller fish versus bigger fish just because you can actually sell the bigger fish for more money. Um, and then you, bake, you break them down. So whatever fish you have in your in your uh, satchel. So if we actually go into our satchel, I can actually quickly show you guys this. Uh, we just go over to find our fish here. Uh, don't do bluegill, but uh, do I have any? Oh yeah, here we go. Redfin picker up. We can break that down and you guys are gonna see them to get flaky fish meat. There we go. So then at that point, you need to find herbs. Uh, so thyme, oregano, or mint. And then you're gonna have to pick three of those. And then you're gonna combine three fish meat with three seasoning at any campfire. It could be at your camp, it could be at Valentine, it could be in Santini, wherever there's a campfire is going to be just fine. That's kind of a couple different parts there. Next one on the list is two gang hideouts cleared. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the circle that I like to use if we were doing this. Unfortunately, the bootlegger missions don't count, but starting at Twin Rocks here, this is uh, one location for a gang hideout. Another one is Rattlesnake something or another. It's right about here. Next one's going to be all the way down at Gap Tooth Ridge, which is going to be at this point right here where my cursor is at. Another one at Gap Tooth Breach, which is the mining facility outside of Tumbleweed. Sea of Coronado. We have Solomon's Foley, which is right here south of Benedict Point. Repentance Rock in this location. Fort Mercer. Jorge's Gap, pretty much right on the U. And then you guys can keep repeating that pattern until you guys get your two gang hideouts cleared. That's the best one to go in because it has the most, and it's literally it's literally just a big circle, which is fantastic. Five down player enemies killed while in cover. Just you know, hide behind a rock, a tree, get them mad at you. You could uh, do this down at these landing. You could do this with a bootlegger mission, kind of like I have really close to me. You could do these, do this even with a gang hideout. Whatever method that you guys prefer, just get in cover with non-player enemies. Now, the next one is to loot 20 non-player enemies. So you're going to have to kill more than just the five. So, like, doing the gang hideouts and, like, the bootlegger missions. So, they all kind of go together today, which is pretty fantastic. So, if you guys got two gang hideouts, you should easily get five non-player enemies killed while in cover and then loot all of them. All three of those can be done by the two gang hideouts that you guys clear. But if you can't find gang hideouts, completely understand that because I haven't had one pop up in quite some time. The next one on the list is to catch five perch. Now, I'm going to show you guys the couple different locations that I like to go to. I'm going to give you guys three. Number one, up here at Windward Strait. You can actually find them up here. You can find more at Cocktail or Cattail Pond. Not to Cocktail. Apparently, I need one right now. Uh, but Cattail Pond. Cattail Pond. Gee, many crime. Let's get this straight. And then Lake Owangila, pretty much right here at this portion of the lake. Um, I either go to Cattail Pond or Lake Owangila just because I'm usually fair, uh, closer to it compared to where I am at anywhere else on the map. But those are the three spots that I would recommend. And then they are attracted more towards bread bait. So, 
or use a special spinner and then just keep catching fish because you're going to need three fish anyway that can be converted to flaky fish meat. So it really doesn't matter. But perch do count. And then next one on our list is to have five vanilla flowers picked. So let's go ahead and break these down. I'm going to do this actually in the bayou is where I'm going to do these at. Specifically right in this area. If you have the moonshine shack right here, there's a couple really close. There's one right about here. There's one right here. One right above the B. We come inland a little bit more. We have another one right here. You can actually find a couple that are up here, which is another gang hideout location. But there is quite a few different locations that you guys can actually go to. Um, and if you come over here, there's another one. There's another one probably right about here. These might not be exact, but they should be pretty close. And you can only find one at a time because they're only one on a tree. But lots of different locations. I think I might give you 11 different locations. No problem at getting your five picked for today. The next one on the list is to visit Bulger Glade, which is uh, south of Rhodes. So just come down to this location. I was actually really hoping that Madame Nazar was going to be here today because that would have been fantastic. Um, that way we were going to we would have been right there, but unfortunately not that lucky today. But that's where you guys are going to have to go to get that one completed. You just have to get really close, and you're going to get that one easy peasy. The next one, not going into the map, go back to the daily challenges. We've got the roll challenges. We got complete a special moonshine, which is going to be the Argarita Creek Plum or Caribbean Rum. As long as you start it, that's going to complete it. If you already have one brewing, then you're going to have to wait for this one to be completed, especially if it's one of those three, and then you're going to have to start it if it's not. But you just have to get it started to really get it um, to get that one completed. Next one is to dance for two minutes, two times. So it's a dance for a total of four minutes. You will re be required to hold down a button. Whatever dance style that you guys have is going to be just fine. Just hold down the button. Easy peasy. Next one is to deliver Moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact. Basically, just be as careful as you possibly can. Anytime that you destroy one bottle, it's going to be a significant loss in profit anyway. But at least you don't have to pay for mesh this week. So that always helps out. Three camp stews eaten. So if you guys are going to do your... Cooking of your fish, as cooking seasoned uh, flaky fish at your camp, then you might as well eat your camp stews, as long as you have the stew pot is anyway. If you don't have it and have enough money, purchase it, because this one does pop up quite a bit. And it's free way to get core um, maintained. So, I like it. It's free, and you can always eat the base quality stew. You don't even have to add anything to the stew pot. 20 donation, donation, oh my gosh, 20 donations to Crips today. I like to do feathers. It's the best and easiest one, in my opinion. Uh, we've got two resupply missions completed. Now, they are free this week, so is it really worth it even doing them today? It's up to you. I'll leave that up to you guys if you want the 0.5 gold. If you guys are going to do these, you will have to wait like 20 minutes to half an hour between each of the resupply missions. We got three coins found, three collectibles sold to Madame Mazar, and three collector maps used. So I'd use your collector map in order to get that those coins. But again, coins are going to be a part of cycle number two. And then you're going to want to make sure that you guys go to Madame Mazar directly, sell anything as far as the sets or maybe the three coins or whatever it might be for today. Because if you sell a full set via the post office, it's not going to count for collectibles sold to Madame Mazar again. She's located in Big Valley. Your quickest fast travel location will be in Strawberry. Doesn't matter what collector maps you use, just use any. You don't even actually have to collect anything if you don't want to, just use them. And then you're gonna have to probably rebuy them from Madame Bazaar anyway. We got one bounty hunt completed with five minutes or more left. So basically doing a bounty hunt as fast as you possibly can. We got three eagle eye used to track a target. The easiest way to do this is if you give it an opportunity to do a bounty hunt where you have to do a searching for a target. So you have to inspect different areas. You would you would track that target each time using your eagle eye. And that's the easiest way to do that. Otherwise, what you can do is when you get to a target, they let them escape a little bit so that they run away from you and then track them real quick. That will count towards it. So up to you. Either way would work just fine. And then last but not least, we had to complete a hard or legendary bounty mission completed. Art is going to be more time efficient, but the reward on Legendary Bounty is a little bit better. So it really just depends on which one you feel up to it. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of these daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below so I can do my best to help you guys out. If you guys did enjoy the video in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. 
It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.